I actually, normally, before I stream, I load up the game um, so that I can remember where the hell I was. I didn't have time to do that this morning. So not only has it been two weeks since we played, but it's been two weeks since I've even opened this. I'm like, what are we playing? The Dutch? Oh, okay. But we are playing the Dutch. We are, what, on Immortal Difficulty, right? Large Island Maps, Standard Speed, Immortal Difficulty, Epic Speed. That's right. Standard standard size, Epic Speed. Um, we are currently... Oh, yeah, we're still in a monstrously large war, which I think is going mostly in our favor. Unfortunately, it's slowing down from our attempts to take Constantinople, which is what we're really, really looking for here. Um, Shaka, how are you feeling? So you don't want peace. I don't even remember, like where the cities are. Just curious to see if anyone is interested in peace. No, not yet. Where is my navy? If I recall correctly, right, I've taken Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa, I've taken it from Ethiopia, and they're still like, no, nah, it's cool, brah. We don't need the peace out. Um, it's possible we haven't gone to the next turn since I took their capital, um, so they might not have registered the fact that they just got slaughtered pretty horribly. Uh, of course, we're going to be in resistance for a while. And they do have some units nearby. They might feel like they can retake it. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but that might be what they're thinking. I actually don't have a unit in the city itself. I think maybe I, I took it with a city or a unit that's got logistics, so it was able to move in and move out. Um, just in case they do retake the city. That way I don't lose anything. I think we'll be okay. Then my idea is probably to move my fleet over here and to smash this. Maybe leave one battleship around here to blow up some stuff. We'll see how it goes. Addis Abada Bada. Yeah. Yeah, I know, um, Eben, I know I do talk pretty fast in my videos, because I, when I watch a video, I want to watch something that's, like, fast-paced, man. I want it to be, like, go and keep my attention. I don't like all this slow, pokey stuff. That was another tip jar from Plato. Thank you very much for the contribution to the Whiskey Fund. That's actually what I'm going to be doing right after this game. I'm going to be going and uh, collecting myself a little uh, a little brown liquid and seeing how it goes. We got another battleship coming in. I think we're mostly okay. We're building the Eiffel Tower because why not? Um, the only thing that would really screw us, I suppose, is if um, Byzantium decided to declare war on us right now. That would be unfortunate. Um... Since they aren't, they aren't even in a war right now. No, they are in war with Ethiopia and the Zulus. Okay, good. So they're nice and busy. All right, I think we got nothing to do but to skip to the next turn. If I've screwed something up, we might have to backtrack here, but I think we're okay. Vlada declared war on Shaka. Okay. That probably means they flipped to Byzantium. Way! Ho! Hey! Ho! Ha! What does that mean we're getting a Let's Drunk with a Briar Queen? Uh, no plans right now, but you never know what might happen. There's some good games out there for Let's Drunk. Mr. Navy, or Navi, I don't know. Uh, it was nice meeting you in Newport Beach. Oh, hey! Uh, nice to meet you, too. So excited for the Rising Tide videos. Yes, of course, we had a fan meet. Mr. Washington, thanks for the resub. We had a fan meet in uh, Newport Beach that was awesome. I was really worried that, like, no one would show up, and in the end, we, like, kept having to just add more and more tables to our little configuration. Grumpy Sharks, thank you very much for the sub. Brand new sub. Welcome. Um... Form a battleship here. I'm going to give it targeting. Again, my idea is to make sure we lock down control over the seas. Bombardment is actually cool. There's a lot of ground units that we could kill, but as long as we rule the cities, then we'll be able to do basically whatever we want. So I'm going to go to targeting two. Just try to get up there. See if we can get uh, either plus one range, or actually the battleships already have enough range. If we can just get the logistics, that'd be okay. We are babysitting antiquity site here and here and here. <laughs> So many antiquity sites. Okay, and we are now a little bit boxed in here. Apparently, Ethiopia, like, wants to bring the combat to me. And I'm okay to play that game. Um, do I want to save any bombardments for the ground is a good question. And actually, this is the one with ground bombardment. I'm going to save you until last. You have ship targeting. Good. Gorash! Thank you very much for the sub. Um, let's go and... No, let's take the one shot there. Almost, but not quite. Weaken that one. And then the Sea Beggar. Ooh, can't quite finish it off. Still leave me pretty low. Nice to go around. Um, we'll do that. Finish you off the Sea Beggar. Do we capture the ship? No, we don't. But we've done some more damage. You are going to guard that spot. Uh, this battleship can... Um, I'm wondering about just like hanging out over here, keeping an eye on Byzantium, making sure they're not coming at me with a big fleet or anything like that. Because I don't think you'll make it to the front in a relevant amount of time. Um, we are at war with Assyria over here. 
We are not at war with Byzantium. Nothing to bombard? Aw, makes me sad. Ethiopian cargo ship. Sweet. Boop. Blunder for me. Got lots of money in the bank. Slightly unhappy, that's okay. World's Fair. I wouldn't mind a World's Fair. And the AI always wants it to go through, so it almost certainly will. Um, you are just going to park yourself on the oil. Thank you kindly. This ironclad still has a movement left. I guess I'll pull it this way a little bit. Uh, this still has a boarding party action. I could attack here, but that seems pretty risky. I think the thing to do is to rest this ironclad for a moment. The sea beggar. Ah, this is the one with the extra action. I'm just going to pull you back to friendly territory then. Worker, you can stay put. Another battleship. And come around this way. I don't know why I decided to say it's so weird. Um, sea beggar, yeah, you stop. Okay, listen, Ethiopia, you're not getting your capital back. I don't know what you think. <laughs> I'm fine. Glarian D&D, &D, thank you very much for the sub. Am I so good at Civ? I'm not that good, according to, you know, something. I always say this, but most of the games I play, I tend to be better than, like, 90% of people out there. Like, much better than 90% of people out there. But the problem is, the 10% who are better than I am, crush me. And it's like, there's very, it, it's it's weird. You find, like, few people on a certain, like, tier. Everyone's either way better than I am, or not. So, I don't know, I just play it a lot. I'm still not, I'm not, uh, I'm pretty consistent at Immortal, although the live streams, we did two in a row that didn't go out so well. Um, but, uh, Deity is still well, well, well beyond me. Well beyond me. I wonder, um, I'd be very curious, actually, to, like, talk to Fraxis or 2K and see about their demographics information, if they if they have any sort of um, analytics in their, that's so much money, analytics in their stuff that tells you, like, how often people play at different uh, difficulties. Um, I mean, you can't go by, uh, by achievements, apparently, because apparently it's pretty easy to cheese, like, a deity level win, for example. Hey, Dutch Dragon, thank you very much for the donation, appreciate that. I uh, love what you do, great to see all the Let's Plays, wondering what thing, any change... Any chance you get back to Common Sense multiplayer with the room or any other? Yes, of course. The only reason we didn't play it is because I've been out of the country. I keep getting these messages of like, hey, what happened to this series, this series? Did you stop? I've just been gone. I tried to make enough uh, videos and stuff for it, but apparently not quite enough. Um, let's go. I suppose we'll have to make some room there regardless. And then there. And you can't quite finish it off. Nor that, really? That's actually quite surprising to me. You can bombard it. Kill it that way. I uh, will get to that bleep 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 in a second. We're going to go and blow up some of these general types. Um, I guess I'll go and smash that thing in the face. How is it, like, fighting back so effectively? Being embarked. I'm really surprised. Who dat? Oh! That's like three in a row. Uh, or no, two in a row. Montefist! Thank you very much for the donation. Really enjoying your Imperial Italy series. Yeah, I like it a lot, too. Um, I can't remember. Did, it, did an episode go live today? I've got some stuff recorded. There'll be an episode today if there wasn't already. Don't you worry about it. And Derping Dutchy, greetings from the Netherlands. <laughs> I gotta go to the Netherlands, man. I gotta go and just fill my briefcase with um, Stroop Waffle, if nothing else. But um, Boarding party for the Ironclad. And I guess, Actually, we're close enough over here. You know what? I was talking about spotting with this battleship, but we may actually go ahead and just bring it to this front because it might still be relevant. You guard that. Oh, actually, we're going to have our archaeologist. Excellent. So you don't have to be there. Is there another archaeological site I want to just stand on and annoy other people about, even if I never actually um, capture it myself? The answer is yes. There's tons more. I may never build an archaeologist for it, but I may as well stand a unit on there just to screw with the AI. Because there's nothing better. All right, you finish that ironclad. I think we have lots of units now. Um, we might need stadiums at some point. Temples, opera houses. There's a lot of important things going on. I'm going to go ahead and build the opera house. Kupro Panda. Do you have any plans for an upcoming Quilly Team Creates? I'm excited for a new one. Started making dungeon crawler game using the time-lapse series. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, yeah, as I keep saying, and this is like really an like annoying for me to have to say. Not that you guys are asking. It's, it's annoying that I always have to say this. I have a bunch of videos ready for something that I'm working on with Google, but there's 
complication working some other things out um, the back end and some things have changed so I haven't been able to put up those videos yet um, so there is a bunch of videos planned for Quilly Teen Creates that's just, you know, stuck in some red tape and things. So hopefully soon. And actually, I have it in my head, especially with uh, Ludum there being four weeks away now. The sort of programming juices are flowing in. So I'm really, um, I'm thinking about throwing in a couple of little tutorials here and there for, for whatever. Just things that I'm interested in programming and just like, yeah, I may as well make a video for it. So yeah, probably soon. There should have been by now, but unfortunately, life is complicated. Um... But there we go. Life is complicated when you're working with other people. Uh, probably makes sense to get a zoo going on here since we don't have that much happiness. Because we keep taking cities we don't want. God. So annoying. Um, I can start the bombard there. Which I think is fine. We'll go and pillage that, which is very nice. And... You can go here, we can't actually bombard with you. But I suppose I may as well shoot the city there. It's their capital. This might convince them to peace out. And that's the thing. I don't... I, I guess we're going for a domination victory? Just because these guys are being such shits? And they keep forcing me to kill all their things? Who is this? This is a, a Byzantium. Unescorted Great Admiral. Interesting. Just get a little bit of vision here. Um, I don't really want to stay in bombard range of the city. So I may as well just step back. And do that. And do that. Um, you can't attack again, though. This guy's already attacked twice. So I'm just going to pull him back to safety. Uh, I missed a sub. Garden of Sinners with the resub. Hey, Garden of Sinners. Thank you very much. And GM Liquid Media as well. I missed you both. Terribly sorry. Hey, GM Liquid Media. Love me some... Uh, some some Team Liquid, right? That's the, I'm thinking, like, that's the same one, right? I keep asking that, like, every time. But uh, I watched... Tons of esports. Love me esports. Mr. X says, long time no see. Hey, I was arranging that government change for you. I found some spare political funds. <laughs> oh, Mr. X. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. I know who you are. Dynamic Echo, thank you very much for the resub as well. So I think we're gonna just we're just gonna be doing domination because The AI is asking for it. Come on, you guys. It's not my fault. I didn't ask for this. Uh, Yelly, yes, I have dabbled with the Rise and Fall uh, mod for Civ 4. I've never really played a full game. Carthage, we can certainly have one more round of friendship. At some point, I'll be coming for your capital, apparently. Oh, Theodore beat me today off the tower. Okay, I, I don't even know. I mean, I guess the happiness and everything is pretty good. Hopefully, she built it in Constantinople, because I'll be taking it. Um, we're going to get targeting three, definitely, so that we can unlock the range and or logistics bonus looks like they are smacking their face into the city but that's not really going to do a whole lot for them um i definitely want to kill this cannon or this gatling gun because otherwise it's going to be pew pewing my ships wipe you out wipe them out all of them um i guess i'll double tap the healthier one and finish it off doesn't really make much of a difference Pew! Pew! Hooray! Indirect fire. Although, with only two battleships, it will take a really long time to beat down that city because um, it's it's going to heal a fair bit. Although, I got enough money. You know what? New Amsterdam? Even though you don't have the, um, the experience buildings, you're close. I'm going to buy a battleship there. You are going to take more boarding party bonus, and then you are going to go and heal up. You heal up. You do nothing. Uh, worker. Yeah, you're just going to get captured if I do anything, so that's no good. Um, yeah, I guess head this way. It's fine. Dig! Random ironclad. Well, let's not end in bombardment range. Listen, dude. Oh, I'm going to take your next capital if you don't, like, settle down here. I think it's because of... Oh, a bunch of ships came out. I think it's because of relative military strength. We should check the demographics. I'm fourth. Actually, it's pretty high up. Maybe I don't have enough stuff near one of their cities. 
And they have stuff near my city. Oh, actually, they're bombarding it pretty heavily with the artillery now. Which is more than a little annoying, although apparently I can one-shot artillery. Okay. Well, one-shot with the one that's got all the ground bonus. There we go. Trim that down. Rest you. And yeah, we'll move more troops over to the front that way. Getting so frustrated by these people. Let's bring the battleship over. Worker, do nothing. Another sea beggar. You're not actually going to be helping over here, though. I've got enough melee troops. I don't know. Whatever. We'll bring you over anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, I might lose it if I stick around. So I think it makes the most sense to just run away. Ironclads. I mean, I guess we could go and smack the city around a bit, but no. We'll just keep you hemmed in. <laughs> Am I going to play the Beyond Earth expansion pack that will come out in the fall? Almost certainly, Airman. I mean, I liked Beyond Earth. I just felt that, you know, after a few playthroughs, you sort of you sort of hit a wall. And I think one of the things that this will add is more variation in the gameplay, which I think was pretty important. Plus, there's a few things that annoyed me about it that uh, maybe they're improving. We'll see. I don't know if it's... The, the problem is... I don't know if it can be better than Civ 5. That's a real serious problem that game companies sometimes run into. Civ 5 is so strong. It's so strong. How do you top it is the problem. I don't know. Um, sure. I'm a nice guy. Dido, I like you. At least for now. Later on, I'll have to kill you. But I'm going to kill you last. What am I researching? That's an excellent question. I have no idea. Plastics! Plastics, probably mostly for the research labs. I don't need the uh, the infantry on this sort of he water-heavy map, but research labs are going to be amazing. Seaport is done. Very good for the extra production over here. Um, we still have some happiness problems, and we probably will be taking some more cities. I'm just going to go ahead. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to purchase the workshop so I get more production, and then I'll just build the Coliseum. Nice. You sit tight. You wait. Uh, Ethiopian cargo ship. Nom. Pew. Pew. Well, Syria will fall to us. Slowly. Or a sewer. Oh, I got my great engineer. Um, too bad I can't get the Eiffel Tower. Broadway. Kremlin. You know what? While it's unlikely that the AI can beat me to Neutronstein because of mountains, actually, Constantinople could build it. And I like Neutronstein, and I have a lot of castles. So I'm going to go ahead and use Wilbur Wright to rush Neutronstein. Just because I like saying Neutronstein again and again and again and again and again. Um, all right, Addis Ababa, we've got nothing to shoot right now, so I guess we will move into position to start bombarding Harar. Now, I really, really don't want to take this city. I'm going to have to take enough cities for my domination victory, but I'm hoping that if I soften it up, I can get them to realize that they're going to be destroyed. Silly AI. It's not like I declared this war either. They're bringing this on themselves. Maybe next turn. We have to rebuild some more trade routes at some point. Also, some people want money. We're currently allied, which is nice. We may want to bribe Quebec City. I think um, I was considering going for a diplomatic victory for a long time. Because I do make fairly decent money. I should be able to pull it off. I mean, the AI has a lot of money in reserve because of the way their maintenance and different mechanics work. What did we lose? Oh, we lost a crossbow. Nitro sign! Gold, culture, and happiness from every castle. Right away, we have positive happiness. Excellent. I have a lot of castles because my cities are coastal. They're very, um, they're very vulnerable to things. More battleships. Until we run out of oil. Battleship, all the things. One carrier... Yeah, we don't really need the plane bombardment. I don't remember why I was building a carrier. I'd much rather have more battleships. I think it was just sort of left in the queue from before. Um, we don't really have these tile improvements, like landmarks. I think we have a landmark. So we really want to vote no one there. The World's Fair will go through regardless. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry I'm going to upset you. Oh, no, that's um, Theodora. So, yeah, we want to block that because it's not going to give us much. Um... There, and a flight deck. Yeah. 
We don't have planes. I don't think I'm going to build planes. We'll see. Ethiopian privateer. I guess we should probably do that. Also, this guy, right, is in bombard range of the city, which is not good. And actually in bombard range of the artillery as well. Uh, I guess I'll be pulling you back here. Because the artillery has a range of three, so I can't fire and be safe. Seriously, though. Ah! Oh, am I going to have to take another city? Maybe I'll just burn it to the ground. Oh, um, hold on. Where were we? Because there's still a ship over here. Yeah, I can't get to it. Pew! Um... Pew! Sound effects are important, as I always say. You do double damage if you make a sound effect when you attack. Oh, they're using bombers on Addis Ababa. If they do move a unit there, they could potentially take it. It's a good thing there's so many hills and mountains. So they can't rush it with a um, um with a like some sort of mounted unit. Alright, we'll sink that. Seriously though, dude, you're dead. He wants to take back his capital. And I can't take that yet. Still doesn't have anything in range, which is good. Yeah, I think even if I hit with both, it wouldn't work. But I can move you out there. Um, and you just rest. Don't go in the city. Make a new proposal. We are going to propose... Oh! Um, I wonder if we can get order through. But first of all, World's Fair passed. Historical landmarks failed. Okay. So we're going to queue up some World's Fair. I'll finish that public school first. Oh yeah, we don't have ironworks yet. <laughs> World's Fair. World's Fair. Two turns to the archaeologist? No. We'll, uh, one turn, we'll let it finish. And there, too. And there, as well. That will supplant that. Um, there we go. All right, we'll start working on that. Steamer Coops! Uh, doing my railroad shift. I very rarely get a chance to watch your live stream, so I haven't subscribed. Here's my first tip. Hopefully many for the hours of entertainment you've provided. Thank you very much, Steamer Coops! You work on the railroad? That's cool! You guys may not know this about me, but I like railroad games. I know, shocking, right? Oh, I got a, another great admiral. I think that's my second one. Oh, I'm trying to bombard with a uh, ironclad, which for some reason isn't working. Um, and then I'll be just paused there. I'm actually just going to smack the frigate. I can only do it once, really? Okay. Well, that's fine. He can't blow up all my ships, so that's okay. Um, so proposal-wise... Oh, yeah, we're at ideology. So let's take a look at the setup here. I'm order, so is Carthage. I mean, I could try to pass it. It probably won't go. Zulu's having gone. You know what? Let's just go world ideology order. Probably won't pass, but you never know. Ban Byzantium. Oh, that's not a bad idea either. I never think of that because I'm, you know, free trade kind of guy. Um, obviously, these would have to be escorted. So I guess for now, they'll just sit there, the great admirals. All right, seriously though, Ethiopia. I mean, I realize I'm in war with a lot of people. I don't want your city. I'm gonna have to take the city. Mm, they're two turns away from being able to take back Addis Ababa, which is certainly what they're thinking. And I could take it again. Very troubling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sea beggar, go. Give me 14 unhappiness. Got a lot of stuff in it. I guess we'll keep the city. Put me at minus six. Just need more castles. Um, and how's the World's Fair progress going? Oh, wow. 
So we're playing on a standard map, right, with eight players, which means that the total hammer cost to create this is going to be eight times 525, I believe. 4% complete. We're actually making some good progress. Obviously, we need to make sure to get at least silver for the social policy. It'd be nice to get gold, but I may not prioritize it at all, even if I could get gold. Now, here's the problem. I had to take Assyria, and now this is going to tank my happiness completely. Okay, I've got some money. Can I buy some happiness building somewhere? Uh, I can get a zoo there. There might be some cheaper ones. Actually, unlikely. There's one zoo. That might be all. So, I should just burn down this Ethiopian city. I still get the choice to do it, right? Or no, maybe I don't. If I annex it, because I, could I start raising it? I don't remember. There's a thing like that. Suppose I could have done a vote. It is good enough. There was enough happiness stuff built into it, which is why I was thinking, like, ah, I don't need to raise it, but maybe I should have. I'm just bitter. And yeah, maybe I could sell it back to them after. Um, sea beggar can just wait there. I think you're safe. Although, let's make sure. We'll move you out of the city. Ironclad, get over here. Bombarding that way. I missed the sub. The red one! Hey! Thank you for the sub, red one! Um, ba da dun dun. You. I think I'll have to pull back. And just wait until I can get a little bit more happiness underway. Oh, can I buy any castles? That'll give me happiness. Probably not. I'm sure a castle's too expensive. Six fifty, and I'm making like no money right now. Boo. But I should get constructing that as soon as I'm happy with the world's fair, which basically I'm just gonna get to five twenty-five, and then stop. Degenerate, thanks for the sub. Actually, it's possible that when I get my next uh, ideology, or social policy, um that I'll be able to, sorry, need words, um, that I'll be able to get something that gives me happiness. That would be nice. Uh, Mike from Denmark, thanks for the sub. Degenerate, thank you very much for the sub as well. I don't think I said your name. Appreciate that. Oh, it would be nice to capture that ship. Archaeologist, we're going to send you to up here. Uh, and then I'm out of attacks, so just sit tight. Oh, we got a bit of a navy coming over here. Listen, Ethiopia. Arr, now is the time for negotiation. <gasps> I lost a unit. Oh, I lost a scout. I don't have whales. Hello, hold on. Sure, whatever. Okay. I should be able to take that other city. I might go below 10. I'm just not sure what their population will end up being here. Um, where is you? That's Addis Baba. Ah, oh, there it is right here. Ah, more fleet. Alright, let's smash that. So we'll create a puppet. Oh, we're all at minus 4. Wow! Well, they got the Statue of Zeus, which is interesting. Very useful. Colosseum is in there. Seriously, though, how did I only... It feels like I should have gotten more unhappiness, but whatever. I guess I shouldn't complain. Sea beggar, see if you can capture the privateer. Nope. Battleship. I guess take that one shot. Hit that. Oof. Can't get bombarded over here, so that's good. Oh, Angela Merkel's evil twin with the resub. Thank you very much. Hmm, 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 hmm. I wonder if I can get uh, Syria to leave me the hell alone. Nope. Zulus? Nope. I mean, we haven't done anything to the Zulus yet. 
They've been a non-issue. Clarion, D&D. Kerbal videos give me a lot of entertainment. Have money. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. The Kerbal videos give me a lot of entertainment, too. Um, all right. So what we have to do is we have to make sure to blow up this guy. Good. And then start applying the beats there as well. 